which uh, has brought Cruiser in as a partner and has done such a great job. Tanger Outlet Mall, they worked hand in hand with them, uh, with the village, getting TIF money so that we could have retail in Lake Delton. And we have 56 wonderful stores that provides thousands of jobs. And trust me, with the 1% premier resort tax generates a lot of revenue for the village. Since that time, he took uh, our old dog, tr dog track, turned it into Buffalo Phil's and Knuckleheads, and the story goes on and on. His high risk-taking characteristics and his willingness to put everything on the line has been the primary reason for the huge success that they have achieved over all these years. A lot of you think that and Turk is pretty rough and he, you don't want to get on his bad side, but trust me, his bark is much bigger than his bite. Uh, he is the most generous person with his time and his resources, and nothing is more evident than the time that the watermen sold Noah's Ark and ultimately sold Great Wolf, that they shared a considerable amount of the sales revenue with their staff, and I think that speaks volumes for the character of him. The poppy waterman hockey rink wouldn't have taken place without the watermen's uh, donating money to build it in honor of their father. His generosity goes time and time again. Then we go to the Visitor and Convention Bureau. Uh, Turk was, uh, for 11 years, a, was a director, and he was one of my first appointments, and a lot of people say he was probably one of my worst appointments when I was president, including him the head of the marketing committee. Uh, because we would have votes on everything, and uh, there could be votes 17 to 1. <coughs> Turk was the one, and trust me, it always was his way, so it, it was unbelievable. But Turk uh, certainly took us through of some very difficult times when we were making the transition, you know, from the old to the new. And his leadership for 11 years at the marketing committee, you know, put Wisconsin Dells and Lake Delta uh, certainly on the map in this region. And I want to say that Turk's friendship is probably one of the most important things in my life. He, we've been in business together. We've been friends for all these years. The Dells has been, a, been his home for over 70, 70 years. And the impact that he has had, had on the community will be here for generations to come. And so if you don't know Turk, you need to meet him. And I'm very honored to be able to present the Lifetime Achievement Award to Turk. If you'd come up, please. Uh, four people. Uh, uh, 
Sarah Bibb on the plaque. That's my wife of 40 years. <laughs> Everything we've done has been a family business. Um, I'm just lucky to be a part of it. Well, <clears throat> we're all fortunate to be in business in the Dells area. Our family started the Dells in 1895 when Andrew Drew Waterman and his wife uh, bought the old Rose Hotel and um, called it the Waterman Hotel. And it served uh, the farmers that, uh, of course, in those days there were no cars or very few. Everyone came to town in wagons, and the uh, farmers brought their grain in to be uh, ground and processed across the street at the uh, Kilburn Co-op, which is now the uh, the sandbar and the uh, uh, what do you call it? The uh, yeah. <laughs> and um, you know, across the street next to Fisher's Bar was the uh, Kilburn Creamery, and so when the farmers came in. If they were, you know, they're, they're all from 15 or 20 miles out, so they had to stay overnight, so they stayed at the Waterman Hotel, and uh, my dad, uh, Andy, was the stable boy, you know, he'd put their horses up, and uh, they'd have a gay old time in the Dells, not too gay a time, because Seth Waterman not only owned the hotel, he was the constable. <laughs> so if they got out of line, they'd be getting a free room in the jail in the Dells and, uh, instead of staying at the hotel. So uh, that hotel was uh, actually